Let's see a question from inverse Laplace transform. We need to find the Laplace inverse of s divided by s power 4 plus s square plus 1. Initially it looks frightening but first of all before uh, coming to Laplace inverse let's first simplify this. So we have been given to find the Laplace inverse of this thing. In denominator I can do one thing s power 4 if I add 1 s square and subtract 1 s square so when I add s square plus s square will become 2 s square plus 1 and that subtraction s square comes here now this becomes a perfect square from me and I can write that as s divided by s square plus 1 whole square minus of s square Again, a square minus b square. So I can re simplify this as a plus b and a minus b. Okay. Now, again, uh, you can go for a uh, set of partial fraction, but I always uh, tend to ignore that. Uh, steps uh, of partial fraction and I what I do in that case I just try to create denominator in numerator so how can I do that I can write Laplace inverse of if I do this minus this or this minus this uh, let's see uh, what happens so if I do this minus this so s square plus 1 plus s minus of s square plus 1 minus s divided by the same denominator now s square s square gets cancelled no problem 1 and 1 gets cancelled no problem s minus minus s so 2s is there initially I had just s so what I am doing I am just multiplying and dividing by 2. No problem. Now I had 2s. I have 2s now also. Now Laplace inverse of. I can uh, now separate this out. This divided by denominator. So I will be left with 1 upon s square plus 1 minus s minus Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1 plus s now again I have the responsibility of making perfect square in denominator so what I will do s square minus s half of this is 1 by 2 so I will add the square of 1 by 2 and subtract the same and this one remains as it is Minus. I am not started Laplace inverse yet. I am just doing the basic uh, algebraic operations till now. So s square plus s. Half of this is 1 by 2 again. So that square I am adding and subtracting. And this one again remains as it is. Now this for me is s minus half the whole square. So 1 upon s minus half sine this sine comes from here so minus half the whole square and 1 minus 1 by 4 is nothing but 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 that I can write as root 3 by 2 the whole square minus Laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus 1 by 2 whole square and 1 okay 1 minus 1 by 4 okay so this gives me 3 by 4 again so plus under root 3 by 2 whole square okay perfectly fine till now now you must have read about first shifting in Laplace inverse also. 
what happened in laplace transform when we move from s to s minus a we just used to multiply by e power at now in this laplace inverse we will move from s minus a to s and again we will multiply by e power at okay so here look at this carefully if i have to move from s minus half to simply s so s minus a to s okay so i will have to multiply by e power 1 by 2t so simply multiply by e power t by 2 and then laplace inverse of what will you get 1 upon s square plus root 3 by 2 whole square minus laplace inverse again wait you are moving from s plus half to s when moving from s minus a to s you multiply by e power at so when you will uh, move from s minus of minus a to s you will obviously multiply by e power minus a so multiplying by e power a is half so minus t by 2 and then the left over thing 1 upon s square plus root 3 by 2 whole square okay fine now this you already know 1 upon s square plus a square laplace inverse sin at divided by a here also sin at divided by a so e power t by 2 okay here you will get sin at so sin root 3 by 2t divided by root 3 by 2 okay uh, no problem whatsoever here and here you are getting minus e power minus t by 2 and uh, sin root 3 by 2t divided by root 3 by 2 okay uh you may check the perfect square once again if you feel any doubt so i added this 1 by 4 1 minus 1 by 4 again here and here also you have 1 minus 1 by 4 so no problem is there so what you can do in the next few steps uh wait 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 i am feeling one yes this half i have missed in the subsequent steps so half will come this half will come i was feeling that something was not well and this half and this 1 by 2 this 1 by 2 and this 1 by 2 again this 1 by 2 and this 1 by 2 now this will go up so 2 2 will get cancelled you are finally left with root 3 by 2 e power root 3 so, sorry simply root 3 2 2 will get cancelled sin root 3 by 2 t and again 2 2 will get cancelled minus root 3 e power minus t by 2 sin root 3 by 2t fine enough so after doing uh, all sorts of uh, simplifications we are left with this as the laplace inverse so i am writing this here also root 3 e power t by 2 sin under root 3 by 2t and minus of under root 3 e power minus t by 2 sin root 3 by 2t okay i hope you understood this was a basic algebra to bring this to the standard form then the first shift as you all know moving from s minus a to s we just have to multiply by e power 80 so again a easy looking question if you just simplify it before applying the 
inverse laplace rules so one uh, simple uh, mistake was there uh, this will go up you will get uh, something like this 1 by 2 into 2 by root 3 so 2 2 will get cancelled you will be left with 1 by root 3 not a uh, simple root 3 so 1 by root 3 here and here also 2 will go up 1 by root 3 here also okay so what I can do now is I can take uh, 1 by root 3 common and also sign root 3 by 2 t common okay inside I will left with e power t by 2 minus e power minus t by 2 now if I divide this by 2 and simultaneously multiply also because this I am doing from my side so this is familiar with you because e power x minus e power minus x by 2 this is hyperbolic sine k x so this we can rewrite as this 2 can come here so 2 by root 3 sine root 3 by 2 t and this to you is hyperbolic sine of what is the angle it is t by 2 ok so 2 by root 3 sine of root 3 by 2 and hyperbolic sine of t by 2 this is your final answer with no problem so again I am uh, moving uh, from initial steps uh, just a simple mistake which I did that uh, instead of writing 1 by root 3 I wrote root 3 which I uh, made uh, clear in the next moment and also this uh, change was needed in order to get a better answer to write in the examinations.